Hey everyone, Rick at Word Search. One of the great things about Word Search is how you can customize the program in many ways to fit your own needs. In this video, I want to teach you how to customize your library, not only moving books into other categories, but creating new categories as well. To edit our library, we will need to turn on the resource panel. If you have taken any classes with me, you know that I'm not a big fan of the resource panel as it takes up prime reading real estate but it is the only place where you can edit your library. So I prefer to only turn it on when I need to edit my library, and otherwise I prefer to leave it off and use the Library tab. If you do not have it turned on, you can turn it on by going into the Options drop-down menu and choosing Settings. In the Books and Windows section, we will need to put a check mark next to the Display Resource Window option and then click OK. The resource panel will now be available on the left hand side. Let's start out by changing the location of a book. Inside of my commentaries folder, I have two subfolders, a folder for New Testament commentaries and a folder for Old Testament commentaries. I then have many commentaries listed just under the main commentary heading. Let's move Acts, an exegetical commentary, into the New Testament folder. First, I need to right-click on the book I want to move and choose Change Category. When the Change Category pop-up window comes up, I can either type in the location I want to move it to or choose the location from the drop-down menu. Here I will choose the Commentaries backslash New Testament category and then choose OK. The backslash tells Word Search that I want to use the subcategory of New Testament under the main category of Commentaries. If we browse to the New Testament category, we will now see Acts, an exegetical commentary, is now in that folder. Moving the book back to its original folder follows much the same process. First, we will right-click on the book and choose Change Category. Now below the category box is a blue hyperlink that will allow you to revert a book to its original location. Inside a word search, you can also make your own categories of books. Maybe you want to group books together that you're using for a specific study. Or maybe you want to group all of an author's books together in one folder. For our example here, we're going to start grouping our books by Charles Spurgeon into one category. So in the filter up top, I'm going to type in Spurgeon to bring up all of my Charles Spurgeon books. I'm going to start with the books in the Christian Living section. So I will right click on the first book, the Bible in the newspaper, and choose Change Category. This time, I will type in Charles Spurgeon as the new category that I want to create and click OK. We can see in the library now that there is a category called Charles Spurgeon. Let's add the next book into that category as well. So again, I'm going to right click on the book, The Clue of the Maze, and choose Change Category. Now I can choose to type in the category name of Charles Spurgeon again or I can choose it from the list and click OK. I can continue to repeat this process until I've moved all of my Charles Spurgeon books into the Charles Spurgeon category. Once I have finished editing my library, I'm going to choose to turn off the resource panel again so that it doesn't take up my reading space. One final note about reorganizing your library. If I go to my library tab right now, you will notice that there isn't a Charles Spurgeon category available in my category list. To get Word Search to recognize your newly created categories and organization, you must close the program and then reopen it. This will allow Word Search to rescan your library and to update all of your changes. If you would like to learn more about the Word Search program, please check out our other tutorial videos. As well, please check out our free online training for more tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your Word Search 12 program. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.